think we are doing road trips, the self-driving road trips everywhere. We are renting vehicle in every state in India. I'm sure that it is going to be super awesome road trip in Meghalaya. Airport, we are reaching Meghalaya from Tura side, which is from the western section. So, we reached Guwahati Airport from Delhi, and from there, we rented this vehicle from an agency. The name of the agency is Fufu Gadi. So, this is our vehicle, Ford Eco Sport. Maybe I'll drive this time as well. You are most welcome. I'm going for full tank? Yes, long journey. items in this thali and with this we have pork and chicken and hungry. Our Meghalaya road trip started. I'm really excited. So of course when you have early morning flight you do not sleep last night. <laughs> She's always crazy you know all the packing unpacking things but yes once we got the vehicle we are very relaxed. Next time I will take early morning flight. <laughs> so we will reach Meghalaya in 3-4 hours uh, maybe. We are actually entering from uh, a completely different site from the commercial area. What is the name of the place? Tura. Tura, yeah, yeah. So Tura, uh, you can uh, see it in our map. So yeah, we are really excited. That's kind of unexplored section here in the Meghalaya. It's great to drive in northeastern India. So this is a new vehicle for me. So I'll just be careful initial half an hour so that you know. As we are approaching the sunset, it's becoming magical. So many colors are coming out, the green, the different uh, greenish yellow and the sunset colors in the sky. I guess it's going to be amazing, uh, isn't it? So let's see what we have in store in Meghalaya. So our trip starts from a place named Tura, which is in western region in Meghalaya and little offbeat place you can say. And we are staying in a very basic homestay. It's called Dopachi homestay and we are going to eat very basic home cooked meals cooked by them. So we are looking forward to reach there and uh, enjoy the trip. hold my excitement look at this place this place looks like a painting isn't it i have a vibe that this is going to be some super awesome stay and some amazing experience so let's check out the stay at least come so this is our hut where we are going to stay and this is our host's place and we are going to go inside there also when they will cook the local food and come let me show you the most interesting place here it's this area <laughs> another local fruit here and uh, this is called khitma. khitma in the local language this tastes um, like mm, a little sour sour when people know spending without sleeping in the, some programs some meetings like some occasions if feeling sleepy they will eat then their feeling sleepy was neutralized okay. <laughs> so now I think then I will not feel tired for today evening <laughs>
चेक आउट माई कूल बैलकनी इन द रूम This place has a different level of quietness. It's very calm here and peaceful of course. So I can hear all the sounds from far far places and wow. This is really good. Man, this looks like a different world. <laughs> yeah, this is drum. This is our traditional drums when this celebration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. My everything is not uh, perfect, but the way I am doing it is simply. Garo? Tabucho, but this is tapioca, no? Tapioca. Yeah. Okay. This is tapioca. This is actually a root, I think, roasted. And you basically have this with honey. My homegrown honey. Okay. Hmm. So, shall I dip it? Or? Yeah, yeah, dip dip and eat. Okay. Oi. Dip and eat. You can try. Mmm. Mmm. Good bird. recipe we will try here in Meghalaya Garo Hill so this is um, actually pork cooked with pumpkin that is uh, really the interesting part appropriate amount of salt it's very simple but yum <laughs> yeah, this one. So what is this one? To call it banana flour. Banana flour. We call it sobok. Sobok. He will uh, cook it, and then uh, they, he will prepare chutney out of it. So this is dry fish. Dry fish. Called in uh, in uh, your local language. That is called Gomanda Wak. Gomanda Wak. Yes. Gomanda Wak. If yeah. I am not wrong. Like everything, everything you like is here. <coughs> so they eat everything that is cooked at home, and yeah. they are uh, just waiting for the food, <laughs> like I am waiting. I think I can speak Bengali here. I am in Bhala Bangla. I am in Bishi Paira. Bishi Paira, na. Like little different. It's uh, so her actual hometown is very close to Bangladesh border. We can understand a little bit the language. We are just learning how to, if what to do if you face a tiger. Yeah. Oh my God! I don't think I can do anything. Young people always while in somewhere where they are going to the jumpy, they always take stones, throw and like that. No huh. challenge the tiger. Where is? Can I fight? Beat me? This tiger will run away. Oh <laughs> but you, you have to. Courage, yeah. My cousin brother's son. Oh, okay. He is uh, looking this cows and all. The tiger was jump in his overhead. He informed to their mother and father. Mm. Then his name was changed. In Garo society, mm. if tiger was attacked or something, so this original name will be changed. Really, really interesting <laughs> fact. So it's a storytelling session here, you can say. Okay, I'm really, really hungry and ready for the dinner. So this is rice. This one here is the chutney with uh, dried fish. This is uh, something very similar to tomato soup. This one here is the pork with pumpkin. Cooked with uh, dry fish, so you can just add it uh, to the rice and 
Eat it. All these items that you see here is uh, cooked uh, with very less oil or without oil, most of the items. So yeah, I cannot wait to have it. It's really good. <laughs> it's very simple, very healthy and it's yum. Wonderful opportunity to spend this evening with all of them here. Look at this. This is a local dress of Garo woman, and they helped me to wear it properly. And how do I look? How, uh, this is the dance step, right? <laughs> so we are going to learn a lot in this evening today because there is going to be local music, local dance, local dress, food over this bonfire, and we are going to have very good time here. So we all have the Garo families. We are going to hear some stories, some music, some fun. Food and of course local dresses. Earlier, uh, the women here, very old times, 200, 300 years old, they were not wearing this uh, long skirt. They were only wearing the, this portion, and this is really nicely decorated, as you can see. With uh, this is from elephant uh, tooth, and this is never washed. Uh, so this is just uh, being worn in the festival times. I cannot believe that I'm wearing something which is uh, belonging to the ancestors, uh, which is 200 or more years old. But yeah, this is how it looks. So the first step is to learn the dance steps. steps the music that you were playing it seems like you know it is related to some birds and from nature from jungle yeah so could you tell the story of this dance particular we call it an ajema roa so ajema is a bird okay so always moving no without any restless okay. Okay. moving okay so we call it dosisi dojep jep okay. but it's always coming out in october mm -hmm. in september october mm -hmm. how he dance in mm -hmm. that the, the bird mm -hmm. we followed from there in the Wangala, if we are having many item dance, mm. if we are skip this uh, dance, mm. particularly in Ajemarua, mm. so of no use, Wangala. Okay, so Ajemarua has to be there. The, they are the, always they are always there in any any performance of Garo community. Garo community. So another thing that I would like to ask is why women are dancing like this, you know? This dance, no? Mm -hmm. Uh, Owen always they have to use these hands oh. because of that we call it the redu mm -hmm. that the leaf we sometimes use for the packing of the rice mm -hmm. like in banana family mm -hmm. how in uh, small wind mm -hmm. is moving no okay when the moving that leaves okay we follow that, that steps. even in this paddle no that uh, some grass kasi is some grass okay how it was uh, there in in the riverside mm. so how it is beautiful mm. so we followed from that kasi bibal this okay. kasi flower so this one this one while you're dressing in the garo attire mm -hmm. it's completely the garo women the beautiful women the sonachi <laughs> well that's a <laughs> compliment okay that means sonachi. that i ah. <laughs> 